It's episode seventy. And is this the? Is this seven zero? Right, was that the best? Was that the best pro tour ever? Oh, like, I think we're going too quick, but like just go, just go in one hundred percent. That was the best. Okay. It was the best one ever. It, it was like yeah. insane. It was definitely. Like, it, it was definitely good for us Europeans. I think it yeah. was good for everybody. Right? But if I like, if I cast, really, if I especially cast... if you're European, but yeah. it was it was so good. Okay, I cast my mind really back. Cool. Yeah. I, yeah, and I think actually every pro tour really does have a good now uh, have a have a really cool story, right? Mm, with yeah. pa- Pablo Pinto's yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. victory with Excellent. Chain and managed Marine, and we managed yeah. to cover up the Starvo. And Matt Folks for us in the UK getting a, getting the win, mm. and that was an amazing redemption arc for him, considering that he had a rough yeah, national. True. So he managed to get this really cool redemption arc. The Michael Feng, um, Oldham, um, storyline that came from Baltimore, that was really and the fact cool. he beat a Br- Dromai in the final. It was like yeah, it was it was um, into yeah that that was. The, I, the game I, wasn't I, that th- wasn't the thing, but this one's magic was. This was Hollywood <laughs> level. It was scripting. unbelievable. It was. It was. It was incredible. Yeah. It, the fact that it wasn't like the heroes, maybe I don't know, but it was just the ending. The ending was just was just magic. It was insane. Yeah. yeah. Like, wait, we it, was so, it was so good. We're going straight. We we are so good. We're gonna we're gonna tease we're gonna tease you of how excited we are about it. We we gotta do our bits and pieces, but you know oh, we'll come back. Yeah. Very quick. Let's right? let's just, we, let's do it's it. All we want to talk about because we've just been saying we've been like we we want to talk about it and how cool it was. Absolutely. Uh, and no 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 like you know not being there but being very jelly of it. Should Did we, you watch a live trip? I was say, should, we, should we just like, should we get our drinks? Should we sort of drinks out? Yeah. Well, and then let's just let's just dive in because otherwise okay. we're never going to get to it. We're just going to keep talking the whole way through. Hey, so. Mish, what are you drinking? Well, Simon, I have uh, asked Faye to grab this for me while she was going to do a bit of shopping about half an hour before we recorded. It is a Sapporo premium beer. It's... Oh, there's a uh, good Japanese beer. I like Sapporo. Oh, there you go. I did ask her to find something French. Um, but I okay, I, yeah. French. I think I had a similar kind of idea. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and it but, didn't but it didn't work. Well, I, I, she said, I'd, I don't know. She was stressed out. There was no eggs in Tesco, so you know, blah blah blah. And <laughs> and um, Sapporo uh, beer, Japanese beer, in honor of the announcement of World's Twenty Twenty Four. Sure, yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah, I'll take she it. Knew. I'll take she it. Knew. What about you, Simon? Uh, I. A uh, bit of a cop out. I've gone for Hayes Bending Jane um, with uh, Brew Dog. That's good. Is that That's a, a good um, Hayes Bending important card. Because I walked in from work <laughs> less yeah, than good. 20 minutes ago. So, you know. Did you put trip, your hand in the cupboard trip. and just find whatever you can? Yeah, pretty much. Whatever was the cupboard, Hayes yeah. Bending in, in honor of our winner, Dramai. Bless you, Phil. I tried, I tried to find <laughs> a French beer as well, and I couldn't find one. So instead, I got a. Uh, Espresso coffee stout from Beaver. Oh, I don't know. That one is that great. good? His drum I went fast in the final, so you know, red. Ooh. There was some red line going on. It was yeah. crazy. It seemed, it seemed, seemed, red seemed line, rabble, blaze headlong rabble. <laughs> Just being like, wait, where's the dragons, man? Yeah, where are <laughs> it was great. That's what I there like. was very little ash but on offer. Yeah. Anyway. That's right. what I'm drinking. Right, cheers. I think we just skip. Cheers. We're going to skip, skip home news. Are we? And just get straight. Well, oh, do you want to do gosh. home news? Or do you want to get straight in? Because my home news was I watched the Pro Tour. Fine. My, 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 my home news was I watched the Pro Tour. <laughs> yeah. What was your home news, Simon? Did you watch I watched the Pro, the Pro Tour. Just not live. I had to watch it all on catch up. There you go. Oh, well, now that's, that's a shame, Actually, not, not all on live. Uh, not all on catch up. I watched the final live on silent in bed last night because oh, did, we all, did we all see the sigil live yes, yes. I, because i think that I was almost the, I almost the greatest moment of, 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 in, in fab history yeah it was just so there's one out the way the the way the commentators led up to it as well was well incredible. uber uber but uber. they were like talking about uh, using the sink uh, yeah the, the clean floor, block floor on car, the floor. Clean block. it just and then moving to the next turn cycle and the one out, right? The single out, and mm. it was just, 
it, it, and all the all, all the jokes about like you know it being like <laughs> Paul Atreides, right? Uh, from Dune Two, oh, like Golden the Path. There's one, there's one <laughs> the possible future. One possible future. He's found and a it narrow path. And it literally happened like that. How in, in, it's incredible. It was just like this is incredible. I, th- I am. You gonna couldn't s- have written better. You couldn't have written it better. I am going to say I feel like the source of that was Yorgos, and I don't know why because it, before the Pro Tour, a week before, he was just blasting this. Um, that meme mm, the june and I, references and i didn't yeah. get it at all as it was written it's an game. yeah yeah but i think it's because the guy looks, it looks like, like paul he looks like paul atreides yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was funny how say, uh, arthur the pro tour winner for those who are not in the loop uh, the french player big in the french scene took down pro tour los angeles in the final against max from germany playing on dory this dory draw my game but man it was a the, all the games in the top eight were incredible. Mm. I didn't, I didn't manage to watch all of uh, Pete Ward's game, uh, which was a shame. Uh, mm-hmm. But I did manage to watch pretty much the rest of it. I even sat down and watched the the Dory Mirror, no, uh, which no, was, no, was a long, long slog. People were saying, "I'm not gonna." Uh, people no, were being like, "Oh, long. I can't watch the Dory." It was, it was, it, it was beautiful. Foul. I think, I, I think Brian, you are a sucker for uh, a long, uh, a long tactical battle, though. I like a long drawn out. And it's they're they're tense, right? Because you think someone's got oh, the yeah. advantage. You can see it's almost in those big games. You can see the incremental advantages oh, yeah. build up and 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 then fade away. And it, it's like a back and forth. Uh, it's like mm. a, a and it, I I personally think it's great. And I mean to talk about that game that showed how incredibly talented Max Million is. Max from Germany. Um, because he pitched he pitched the the Blade Runner the. Um, hit and run red and another card when he saw Josh Lau pitch the time snap potion. Like he yeah, pitched so them all. Josh just decided to play uh like what the commentators call it like the fat deck in the, the mirror, play as many cards as you have mm. uh and try and with lim- unlimited time in the top eight, uh, just go for the the fatigue out strategy. If you've got one blue left in the deck and they don't, you can swing your axe. Uh but when you've got cards in your deck that don't block and your opponent can see that when it goes into the pitch, then mm-hmm. they can do something to get over it. And it, oh, it was just a, and there was a, a early game. Max managed to get a CNC in the classic, like, you know, you've got a bricked up hand with, with, with defense reacts and you CNC just goes through for six damage. And suddenly you're getting great value out of that. And if you don't then get the value yourself out of your CNC, that it's just, I, I, I love those kind of games in fab. Just, it just, it, it feels like a, a long drawn out battle that you would expect between those two heroes, like really long. Uh, and I, I know I personally enjoyed it. I, that was one of my my highlighted games. But mm. like Hamish, what was what was uh, what was to mm. you? What was kind of like the? Was there a game in the top eight that was sort of like your highlight? Like obviously the final was amazing, but was there another game that you particularly enjoyed? Um, I th- I think it's obviously our boy. Daniel Correas. No, I'm I mean, going to no, say, was, actually, think, like, the Maximilian Klein versus Daniel Correas game, like, the way that came down to it at the finish... Was no, that epic. was my least favourite game, because that oh. was probably the most unfortunate for Lee for Daniel. Um, the most one-sided game was Daniel versus Kano. That, yeah, that, I, that wasn't that really was, a contest. That was a... Oh, that's a slam. And unfortunately, Max returned the favor and that didn't feel yeah like there was it was close at all but the pete ward versus um arthur was yeah that was like a that was a really cool game but then the other guy as well um oh the canadian dude joel joel, uh, joel, uh, joel, joel yeah. that was a great game yeah but, uh, yeah, but that was exact versus... that, that was a, that was an exact mirror of what happened with pete ward and it was so weirdly identical that the moment both pete ward and joel did a wild ride or a bear fangs to draw discard a bloodrush bella i was like oh my god mm. and they both turned zeroed um cast bones and he just mm. went i was like oh this guy's just going through the repeat again like yeah no blocks i know i'm down to like 20 something health and you're on 40 but dragon time you know it's just like this arthur was just like really maximizing the amount he could uh utilize the dragons it was 
But none of them can beat the final. I'm sorry, the final was insane. Like the, the final, final, was... final was like the best game of Fab. Because that that game and, it, and people it going into it saying saying that Drum Eyes favored, you know, it, uh, I, could... uh, and that's fair. That's true. No, like, we, no, you should pretend it's not the case. It was not. Uh, uh, but Max was winning that game. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, and, he, yeah. And would won would have won that game if it wasn't for that heart of the cards moment. Oh uh, no! But... Uh, even then, though, he Max did make a massive blunder, right? Because the, the, when he had two, take it on the chip. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he didn't. And use he didn't it. play one of them. He was. I waiting don't think for it the... was a massive blunder. I think he expected another. He expect... uh, attack, no, right? yeah, yeah. Uh, he he, he, he overthought. Yeah. I think. It, I remember Shin telling me this that sometimes when he was playing Dory, mm. so small analogy, sometimes some players do some <clears throat> genuinely a bad play, but you as the opponent are giving the person way more respect. Yeah. Or if you're playing Dory, he's like, oh, I'm going to do this, and you should block because that is the play that I know that is the correct play you should play. So I'm mm. going to outplay that play. And they go, oh, no blocks. And you're like, no. That is the worst play that you can do, but it's actually the best play because I've overthought the situation. I've yeah. out- and that's, what Matt, that's what Matt Max did. did. He, he, he it. overthought. Yeah. played it in that way to get that response. Yeah, well, he like, doesn't know what's Arthur in his hands. Rep- no, but Ar- no, no, but Arthur was representing another attack to make that point of damage seem like. It was takeable, so it, he could save cards to block, it, right? Yeah. He knew he had the Valiant Dynamos up. He knew he had, um, and he was yeah. He hand. wasn't using the Valiant Dynamos on the Dragon because he was no. going to go. Well, here comes a dust up, right? Because it should be a dust yeah. up, and it wasn't a dust up, and it just went oh, so much like small value from but that it, moment. Um, even did cost with that him. mistake he was still he was still uh you know playing incredibly patiently as much yeah, yeah no i'm not he, the dragons man, and, and, get, and, and was putting him in a threatening lethal position which would have been if it had been any other draw that would have been the game to max and we'd be talking about how max won the pro mm. tour taking he down an incredibly unfavored ha- matchup but that's the way it that's the way it goes that is, yeah no that's the point that's what made it like i can mm. ima- i can imagine max will revisit this and go, I could have done better. Which, in hindsight, we all could have made a different decision, and that is the game. But in terms of the history books, the viewership, like everyone other than Max, it was quite a spectacle, yeah. wasn't it? I mean, like, it, you know, when, we, it, when you watch Germany, just... eight, seven, oh. one Brazil, in everyone apart from Brazil was like, oh my god, I can't believe this is happening. This is like entertainment. Do you know what I mean? It's just so and like, the thing, oh. like, but, but it wasn't Matt, like as we've just alluded to, it wasn't like the game was just that last play. That wasn't the only good thing about the game. No, it no, was no. So tight all the way through. There yeah, were so many was... points where it was just like, this is incredible play. Yeah. No, and we it... said this on Push the Point before, which is that you can win games due to luck if you put yourself in a position where you mm. are in mm-hmm. you can win it, right? If you put yourself in the final and then you win due to a kind of a, a lucky draw. Well, you put yourself in that position where luck wins you the tournament. Yeah. Like uh, th- that's ignoring every other step that Arthur took to get to that yeah. point where that luck mattered. And then he, they he converted that into fifty thousand dollars and Pro Whoa. Tour champion. Always going to be able to call himself Pro Tour champion. Another European Pro Tour champion. Another, one. Another. which is great. And and, and I, I don't know if we've had a repeat country yet. So we haven't. Uh, we wouldn't have either if uh, Maximilian had won. And that's <laughs> going to be interesting to see which country is the first country to win the two Pro Tours. Probably because yeah. you know it was also... up there. We had Spain. We had. Uh, did we have a American? Was it Canadian in the top eight? Uh, yeah, I can't remember. We had a Canadian. I think it was an American. Yeah, we had Canadian. We had eight different countries joel reptor yeah, josh Lau, um, of course yeah and josh I, I was, Lau, american yeah Korea, so Spanish, incredibly well Felipe, represented Brazilian, across the world and, and german yeah sebastian grondal who has been absolutely tearing it up at the pro level yeah he's he's a he's a really good uh magic player and uh, shout out to pete ward as well like oh, second in swiss uh bro like We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Let's bookmark. <laughs> we'll bookmark this because we've got a we 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 are way out, which is fine because we're so excited and there's so much to talk about. I know about. there is a wheel. I know. Of, we're gonna we're gonna bring in the wheel of time. Don't worry. Oh, do you Oof. want me to do? Do you want me to do that? Should we do it now? Yeah, hundred percent. We'll, so, we'll bookmark this. If you 
if you are a push the point patron, guys, do you know? Do you know what you what you get? Do uh, you guys know? Well, I bet. I, do you I, know? I, I seem to Famous, just give. Do you know? I seem to give. Simon, my... do you know? Do you know what you get? All right. Push, push I do know what patron. you get. What do you know what you get? What do you get? Six packs, guys. Six packs oh, of days. flesh and blood. Do you know how much six packs of flesh and blood cost you in this economy? It's a lot of money. 30, 30, 30 pounds. pounds. <laughs> 30 English pounds. And how much does it cost to be a push to point patron? Three well, pounds a month, right? Easy. So you could say to yourself, if you've, if you've well. been a push the point patron for only a couple of months and you win, then you'll get your money back immediately. So consider that, guys. Yeah. Well, well we have a winner. Balls. I've spun that wheel. The wheel has been oh, the really? wheel of time, as we call it, for some reason. Not entirely sure. Um, <laughs> and the winner is none other yeah. than, I feel like I say this every time, long time player of Flesh and Blood. We've got yeah. a lot of long time players of Flesh and Blood as push the point patrons. Yeah. It's Craig Johnson, everybody. Hey! Oh, from up north. Uh, we used to play uh, with Craig online all the time. I feel like yeah. I've said that quite a few times too. Uh, good, uh, quite a, a good recent regular on as well, uh, the Trinity so, Card Capital Trinity online Card armory. Capital crew. crew, we used to play that all the time. Yeah. It was a classic. Trinity Card Friday Capital, night. Living Realms, yeah. online armory. Every week we were insane. What were we thinking? <laughs> we just no. kept playing all the time on TTS. Just before Talishaw, guys. I know, we but had to, pre We had to move cards. And then we had to play on webcam for a bit. We moved to webcam, didn't we, at one point? We did, yeah. Mm, I didn't. Madness. <laughs> Hamish didn't. He had a life. But yeah, Craig, he did uh, not play. No, I did Sean TTS. will be sending you your packs uh, very soon. Uh, and if anyone else is interested in becoming a patron, Hamish, what else do they get? Well, not only do you get six packs, which is worth £30, you also get 10% uh, discount on on. All online orders on Thistle Tavern, a Scottish shingle seller from Edinburgh. He does lots of different cards from Star Wars Unlimited that's coming out, Lorcana, all of it. He'll get you sorted. Um, just uh, you, if you're a patron, you get the code to get 10% off, as well as Metal Fab tokens, which I help distribute across the UK and EU. Uh, when we get some new stuff in, I let the patrons know what they're getting before I tell everyone it's live to order. So it's worthwhile getting into that to into being a patron as well as you get early access to our videos as they come as well and if we've got some cool interviews coming up maybe there's some hopefully some pro tour like top eight guys that i might try and weasel, weasel in maybe see what we can do you know just throw some questions out it's all there anyway that's everything. and andrew andrew rayner of thistle tavern not only a scottish singles seller he's a pro tour player as well mm -hmm. and uh finished uh i think uh where he, he more wins than losses in his first pro tour eight, out there six. in la he made the trip over eight six i think it was which is very impressive i did not uh do that in my first pro tour i did terribly so uh uh, well done to him, and well done to uh, all of the UK players uh, well, well, who played in the Pro Tour. I will, let's do, is proud. There is there was two other players as well who um, who are patrons that went over. There's uh, Mark Henderson, the uh, top mm -hmm. eight calling Liverpool uh, placer. He also went to the Pro Tour and landed eight six, as well as old Johnny Chapman. I don't know if he would mm. like us to yeah, tell him. Not, not, so much, <laughs> not so much detail in that one, but Johnny was there. He was yeah, he was there. excited to be there. He went there. And uh, Alex Kitsu as well. Yes, Alex Kitsu. I don't... I think he got... Nine uh, and... Nine, nine for cash. Yeah, nine cashed, for yeah. Amazing results. So, yeah. Alex. And shout out to not a push the point patron, but Francesco, who was uh, Giorgio, who was on the stream quite a lot over the weekend. Yeah. It's great to see a UK player uh, featured so much. Uh, uh, that was cool to watch. Cool to see him all over the socials, all over Fab TCG socials, which were really popping off. I have to say, the quality of the stuff that LSS, oh, the... LSS media team, yeah. and the social team, and yeah, the yeah. tournament it was, team it was is man it's just. <laughs> It's it's incredible, yeah. I mean, yeah. Bring, bring good people, and, bring um, good people in, right? Events. That's the way to do it. If people are talented, bring them in and and give them control of these things because it was so good. Just the stuff they were doing with the like little little quizzes on the uh, floor, giving people free packs if they knew a like mm. fun fact or well, not fun fact, but like a fact about Flesh and Blood. Really, really cool stuff. Really exciting to see some of the people on the floor 
yeah, really, really good stuff. It was such a well-run and good tournament, I have to say. From the outsider's perspective, watching yeah. at home, obviously we weren't there. I'd like to do one or two more uh, UK shouts as well. So shout out to Liam Holden. Coming, oh my God. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. The oh, bubble. I, I crushed. Bubbled. E9. The bubble in the calling. Yeah, he came ninth. I was like, nah! that was but an amazing performance. Well done. And that was a big calling as well. And mm. uh, yeah, Jake Warburton placed uh, reasonably well at the Battle Harden. He went out in the semi-finals in the Battle Hub. Oh, my days. It's not just well. Seriously, the semi-finals. I didn't know that you made that. That's awesome. So well done. That's yeah. great. Yeah, that slipped on my radar. I so, believe he uh, lost to Brody Spurlock. Who, um, well, yeah, well, it was, it was yeah, Brody it's... and uh, Michael Fang in the final. Yeah. Yeah. Michael Fang in the final. So the uh, Lexi Chain game. Yeah. Uh, and the, that, was the, uh, that was the Living Legend tournament for anyone that wasn't following the battle hard and mm-hmm. uh, CC was just classic constructed. Um, let's be, so you... let just one, one, one second, just while we're talking about okay. UK players, Francesco obviously won the calling in Liverpool. Yeah. And then Indeed. did, did extremely well. He was, I mean, he was top tables, top draft pods in day um, one. Yeah. In day one and, and top draft pod day two, I think as well. well or second yeah. draft pod day two. No, it was top. It was top um, tabled um, day one. Unfortunately, he just he fell off towards the end. I think um, he. I was rooting for him against Maximilian Klein actually in that game on the the stream, and just mm. uh, he just started to slip away. Liam, obviously, who came second in Liverpool, come ninth in the calling. Uh, like it's really good to see the consistency among the top U- some of the top UK players, and as we said. Pete Ward second in Swiss. I was gonna say we've been talking about all these th- all these players that have done very very well in the UK. Pete Ward, right? He is a top eight pro tour placer. I don't know. Is that how you say it? A, t- a top eight pro tour, a top eight placer. Anyway, we've seen. We've he's seen a monster. Pete yeah, <laughs> he is we've seen so good Ward at this before game. at the top tables. And um, was it Utrecht where he he, came, he lost was in the final to Max Klein to Maximilian. Five versus five. Uh, yeah, it was a five v five. It was Max, I yeah, think, yeah. that won Utrecht. But you want the Matt Matt Folks um, told me that uh, Pete did exactly zero test him before the Pro Tour. He, I know where he got his list from. Uh, and yeah. uh, where did he get his list from? Uh, I believe it was from Isaac Murray, ah, who's okay. uh, local to me. Oh, okay, and. Um, He's just went, I'll have your list. K- and I'll he's just been playing play. KO a lot. Yeah, he won, he won a couple of RTNs, I believe, with yeah. that KO list. Yeah, KO, and, the um, KO list, though, is not exactly like baked in like the nuances of things. It's just what's the highest value turn I can pull off. That's It's just numbers, isn't it, really? That's what I KO think, is. It's, I think there is, there is nuance in when to gamble and when not to gamble. And we saw that. We saw that a couple of times in the Pro Tour mm. when it came down to do I roll the scabs or not? But that decision do tree play... is not exactly like... It's not like playing Kano. It's not like playing a Rune Blade where you've got to sequence no, I'm not, your I'm stuff not saying, properly. I'm not saying you know, it's even, Kano even level ca- even Katsu, craziness. Even Katsu has more nuances. I, I, you know, it's like five levels of... You look at your hand and you go... It'd be good if I had two actions. <laughs> so yeah, I was right. gonna say. Don't, I think. Don't get me I wrong. I'm not. I'm not it's taking good, anything. It's classic play patterns. It's it's yeah. you, know, you know three it's card value, files and right. things like that. Yeah. Like good and then it just can and, and getting plus plus. It, we we said this when uh, Kato came out. We said it's it's like it's a bit like Ira. You just you get this plus one, mm. and that just is is just pure value, right? Mm-hmm. For something you already are going to do when you're playing or want through. to do. You're not. And it's like through, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take a plus one damage because that just makes all of my cards better than your cards. Mm. The the because I'm gonna throw cards that have been costed this way and they get plus one damage it's the same thing mm. with iron in, in blitz it was just a slight slight value advantage throughout a long uh like a a, a few turns so um yeah i i th- these these heroes like there's fundamentals in games and pete's a magic background and yeah understands tournaments uh that which is also the the, the main thing uh, these pro tours you got to understand how to keep yourself going over a three three days guy three day tournament absolutely mad the pressure the the stamina you need the brain power you need to keep yourself mm. focused in the game and ko is a good tournament deck right like 
Which There's is why not we saw a so huge many amount, of them. you know, like this is why I respect um the Kano player, uh the the name escapes Felipe. me right now. Uh Felipe, thank you. Uh from Brazil. Uh, uh great to see you Brazilian player on the top eight. Oh yeah. Right? Um and uh to, to play Kano, three days of that, and, and to take yeah. that into the top eight and then get into the, the quarters, right? I think it was the quarters in the end. Yeah. We uh, went out against uh, Daniel Correas. Yeah. No, Daniel Correa took yeah took him out yeah yeah exactly Simon yeah it's just incredible uh, just the respect it, to be able to pilot a deck like that over such a long period of time, um, incredible. Like I I just think I have full respect to anybody that can take it to the end of one of these massive tournaments and still be able to to walk back to the hotel <laughs> at the yeah, end. No, remember where your room is. Like that's the thing, right? Yeah. We, uh, so let's um. So we t- we talked a bit. I want I do want to say as well. Um, we we haven't talked too much about Daniel Careers, man. Right? We've we've touched. He's it. our boy. He's, he's our boy. boy. Well, he's our you, boy. Come and on. I should say he's a player that you, Hamish, have been featuring on Push the yeah. Point. And I heard it said on the the commentary. Didn't say Push the Point, but did say uh, Daniel Careers. He's one of these players who puts his stuff out there on on content creators channels that creates deck text and he's always done that and he's always done that for push the yeah. point and and you've built up a relationship with him and pablo um and featured daniel caress and really were were pushing him as a pro player uh when i'm i don't think everybody necessarily everyone knew he's part of sunflower samurais but didn't you know obviously pablo being the mm. main person that people know and like how does it feel for you hamish to see a guy that you uh, knew was so incredibly talented be able to demonstrate that on in front of a, an audience of thousands of people it, online it was it was it's like it's what it's it's like watching one of you guys do well it's a mm. it's a fab friend do you know what i mean like, fab friend. It's, it, it, no he is like him and your yeah. as yeah, yeah uh, you, i mean yeah they're they're these international dudes that i've just built a relationship with and uh, now we've, we've got to this point now where where Yorgos and Daniel are like the new sets coming out, guys, and they just know. What do you want to? What do you want to? Like, yeah, and they yeah. go, and I just and they and they, you know, and I'm just honoured that they want to do that. And they were like, oh, you know, we really look forward to it because they're just debt builders, right? Anyway, so seeing him just do so well, I was like discording and messaging him, and when he got, he said, oh, bro, I'm in. Like I'm top seed. I think I could just like you know, I think I could cry. I'm like, oh god, I was just. It's a, someone you know. It's just more mm. than just a guy you heard. It's a guy mm. you know, yeah. and I was I was really rooting for like Pete Ward as the English player to take it home for the UK, right? But I didn't. I I don't know Pete Ward like I do Daniel Chris. So I mm. was in this battle of going, oh man, like. I, maybe I was just like I had so much to to sort of root for, but I was I did oh. I did say Daniel Krius, um he was I was in a bit of a tough spot because uh, if I want my friend to win, I lose the bet with Carol. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and well, you lost it anyway, right? I lost. So, yeah. yeah, I know, but I was like. <laughs> Daniel, it's you. It's your friendship or a heavy hitter's box. I'm in a bit of a quandary. <laughs> but I was, I, was, I, I, was I felt that in the in the Daniel versus Max game because obviously we've had Daniel on the channel and he's done some amazing content with you. Yeah. And Maximilian, I got paired with Maximilian in our Shapeshifter event in Birmingham. Yeah. And I, um, we had a chat and we played um, in Birmingham. We were giving out our random packs and he managed to pull a warrior legendary, like the Rainbow Four Warrior Legendary from Dust Till Dawn in yeah. our pack. And he yeah. came up to me afterwards. He's like, Oh, thank you so much. Like, I wanted to show you this. Um, we've chat had a chat at every event that we've been at since. Like all the callings that he's come to in the UK and, and at, at events I've seen him at in Barcelona and things like that. We always have a chat and just how are you getting on? It's just really nice to, ha- as you say, Hamish, have those people in the game that you can connect with at international events. And yeah, no, I, yeah, it's, a, it's it's just it just brings it home that this game isn't just a competitive powerhouse. It's not all about doing well at big events, but it's about the friends you make along the way, right? It was about just, it was about time yeah. Daniel got there, and I think it just also just solidifies the power of 
the powerhouse that is Sunfire Samurai. It's like the narrative mm. that they've got now. Like they've got it's not everywhere. just Pablo. It's not just Pablo. There's it's not a whole like, team, um, and I, that's it's the not whole like reason. a cycling team where you have domestiques. No, it's not like what they're all pulling for the main guy. It's like everyone has their own shot. Yeah, and the whole reason I brought Daniel on it was because Pablo was t- was telling me that he says I I'm not a deck builder. I mm. I take the ideas from my team and 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 I just run it through the mill. The 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 real brains behind these deck building is Daniel, and I was like, oh, I'd love to meet mm. Daniel. And then when I saw him, I was like, oh my god, you're the dude that I sat in our pod in Worlds in San Jose, and he had this. Oh really? Yeah, and he had a really sore arm, and he was stressing out like man. I was like, he was like, oh, I'm gonna, I just, you know, I've hurt my hand, and blah blah. I was like, and I said, dude, it's fine. And then he won. I was like, I'm, you know, he was like, oh, I'm so overjoyed. I was like, I'm so happy. You're happy. I didn't know this was Daniel Kriers, but yeah, we just yeah, built yeah. this little relationship up. And then afterwards, oh, I was like, cool. oh my god, it's you. <laughs> so, and, but yeah, now Daniel is an amazing player, amazing debt builder, and it was just amazing to see the sunflower samurais and daniel just just you know get it's doing well yeah do well there you go that's my i i, I couldn't not mention uh I give yeah. daniel the big this real big spot in this fucking episode so there you go. I, think, I think that's fair like i uh, on, on what you're saying about max simon there was a there was, uh, there was a moment uh, during the Max Josh Lau game, where Max mm. played Cleave or something, like played out Cleave, and Max uh, and and Josh was like, "We're gonna we gotta talk about this after the game because they're both Dory players, right?" Yeah. So, I, I, I love Dory. Like, and I, and I, Josh Lau was lovely as well. Yeah, um, and and I could see it on the you know while the commentators was talking, we took a little bit of the commentary in a second, but like, um, just Max Moon was was just chatting with everybody. Yeah. He seemed like the friendliest guy. All the games uh, except for the final, obviously, uh, he seemed super friendly. He was su- he seemed really nice guy, and he was really nice in the final as well. Obviously, in the final, the but it was crushing. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 I think it's fair to say Arthur, he he just seems like the 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 cold as ice. Not, and not in a negative way, no. but just like he's completely about the game. He's there, like, he's in, he's focused. He, he that's in the how moment. Do you want yeah. a fun uh, fact? Do you want a little fun fact? So I was talking to, to f- yeah, Roman from the I have a video yeah. in France. Yeah. Been chatting to him this today, and he said that um, Arthur has actually been going out on. He's just traveling at the minute, mm. and he has been just trying to play and test this game in South America with the worst possible internet ever <laughs> and he's just like oh god okay i guess this will you know i'll try he just muggled through and tried. No he's way. just traveling and he went and that when and he just goes to a portal and just goes oh god i've won it <laughs> 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 should we talk about drum eye yes and let's We'll come back to the Pro Tour. No, I think, we, uh, I think we've done. I think we've. Well, if we're not gonna, if uh, we're gonna move on to the Pro Tour, the last thing is I want to say is the commentary was incredible. Oh, it was uh, phenomenal! Like, huge shout out to Mitch. Yeah. Uh, Uber. Just Uber. Ooh. Just. I think he showed everybody that there are levels to commentary yeah. and there is professionalism yeah. to commentary. And it, I, I think everybody, it was a bit of a wake up call. I think for, for hopefully for everybody in terms of how good you can take something like that. Uh, just, I was blown away. I and I thought the entire was... commentary team was fantastic as well, but I have to say- But Mitch he brought it to a different level. Like a different I, level, yeah. I naively, yeah didn't really know that he'd played the game much but and he if, if maybe he hasn't but he came across as if he knew like all the wrinkles yes, like he had done yes. so I, much research yeah i i so when i was watching all the other people do commentary i thought to myself they were good but i think i could have a crack you know you know when you see something that goes yeah. i'm not going to be as good as them but i think yeah. Yeah. But they've inspired me to believe I'll have a crack at It'll it. Be better. Yeah, well, not yeah, be yeah. better, but I can have a crack at this, and I'll just bring myself. I'll, br- I'll we, bring myself. And it, it can be different and good in different ways. Yeah, and yeah. Like, like you can see yourself being on a similar kind of level, maybe a little bit yeah. below, maybe some people a little but, bit above. But like, but, you could you're aspirational. Yeah, right? yeah. I watched Uber and went. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, went, you went proper fucking <laughs> boy, didn't I, you? Well, like, I was like. I can't do like 
that's when the pro shows up. That's like when you watch yeah, yeah, some yeah. people play Fab and you go, I, I could I could play Fab. And then you watch, I don't know, you watch like Max, Maximilian mm. or um, I don't know. There's so many great players. There's so many great players. And then you go, but I can't do that. I can't. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I can't do that. And that was I'm not at that level. No, that quite. was that was Uber, and it was just a little bit as well. When he won, I thought, okay, I can be excited. I can be like, oh my god, no, no, you know, and be like that. Oh, just no, like that him. was a different no, level. No, he he kept it, and then when he was just said like, um, like the king of the dragons, Arthur is here, and he's just like, how does someone pinch, like? When you listen to the football, they think it's all over. It is now. And you think, oh my, that's, oh. A, that's a line. That's a memorable like little line. And how he just grabbed yeah, that out of it. Out. He yeah, grabbed yeah, that yeah. out of excitement. He didn't have that there. He didn't just write, I'm going to tag this great line when it matters. He just pulled that line out somewhere and thrown it out there. And it just, when you rewatch that video, that Dear Mama mm. bit, you just listen oh, to that. Oh, that's great. When he's just like, there is only one out here. Yeah, and it's the sigil of solace, and then the sigil of solace comes out, and you're just yeah, like, no, uh, that that yeah, he, and, that yeah. and that's game, that's game knowledge as well. Like obviously, yeah. uh, like the, the Brian was, uh, it was it was with Brian as well in yeah, the, yeah, in the was, final. Yeah. Like it's a collaborative effort, but that that is game knowledge, and and and, and respect. Like he sees the lines, and he saw the story. And yeah. like he was like, even if this doesn't pan out, if I continue this line that we've already we've already developed it yeah. through the talk, talking about the sink the previous turn, and we're just going to keep that going. And if it pans out, we know it's going to be the greatest moment in commentated fab history. And it panned out because they saw that as they the, sold it. That's the that could be the story. And and yeah. and nine times out of ten it whiffs and it's it doesn't but that one time out of 10 because they brought it there along with the commentators they, oh, saw, the line, they was... saw the possibility they saw the golden path man they, they saw that they, one everyone future. saw that golden path i was and I, yeah incredible it, the, the, the commentary uber uh, and i have to say as well like um good big big shouts to brian gottley uh mm. and sam o'burn and oh, i can never pronounce his name Punk punkage, yeah, that's it. That's something yeah, because his name and how they say it, I'm like I can't say that, but they say punkage. Yeah, they did. It was brilliant. The whole thing was brilliant, and mm. I can, I if I can see if if I looked at Sam O'Byrne and went, Sam, I think I know who you're. It, Uber is that guy, isn't it? He is, you know, that that energy, that whoa, and the, and the flamboyance and all of this stuff. It's, 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 it's yeah. Yeah, I, I looked at him and went, I, I, I'll, if I have to have a peer for commentary, and how does that match the way I am? I've, I found my peer as well. I, I heard, I saw his trailers on his Twitter as well. You should see <laughs> that, by the way, because when he goes like full, like gassed up stuff with I Overwatch, was, he was like, oh we, God, yeah, no wonder and, this guy is a multiple really award winning but... commentary dude. He's multiple award winning, and you can see why. Yeah, no, and it's it's, a, it's it's it is impressive to to take commentating style from a game like Overwatch and bring it into Fab because obviously the pace of the game is completely different. Mm. <laughs> it's but the, the, snail's but, pace. <laughs> but again, it's the fundamentals. Like it's seeing the story, it's seeing the line, it's making mm. sure, and it's it's bringing excitement when excitement is warranted, but not to the point of excessiveness. And it it, it was he very the line perfectly, really. Mm. The line really well, and. Uh, I think it was a fantastic tournament. That's the kind of commentary that is going to bring people into yeah. the game. Yeah. It's going to make people watch the game if they're not necessarily a. a, a well, did, did the, the game. final peak at like four thousand viewers? And that video, the uh, that video, the uh, DM DM Armada. Armada made is oh. going to get watched thousands of times. That, that oh. that's going to be a, that's a moment. That is an actual moment in Fab history that will continue and will be there. So yeah, hundred um, percent. Okay, let's talk about. Let's Dromai. move on. Let's talk about Jomo because if you're like, I don't She's know. She's now on nine nine six. I've got. I a feel question. like Jomo's only been a, around for five minutes. No, is that weird? No, like I really do. I'm like, I'm like, she's like, she's. You do realize she's been is, here as long as I. I'm a lot. I'm getting. I'm becoming an old man now. Right? She's like, been here. Iceland has, Iceland has been gone a year. No, she hasn't well, gone man. a year. No, she hasn't gone a year. That's six months. No, so, Simon's is making up numbers. No, it, six months. Up okay, <laughs> I, I have to say something. Right? Is Dromai is Dromai leave him? Good. She's well, not left yet. Well, she will. Let's, uh, I, we're we're doing the. Well, Brian didn't. Well, okay. Starvo 
and oh sorry, Chain and Starvo. Remember when Chain won Pro Tour? Pablo won with Pro Tour with Chain, and we all went, he's going. So we all did the victory lap. And we knew he was going. So we all just talked about he's going. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And what does that mean? Now, is Dry My leaving a good thing? I don't think that okay, no. I don't think that question is a is a question like it's like we we it's a question that always gets asked when heroes leaving fab mm. where we're like well is i'm this asking gonna improve it. the meta no i never said improve make the meta worse i never said is it improve. a good thing is it a bad thing yeah, it's, it's, it's a good it, thing or a bad there, thing there, 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 is, there thing. are no qualities to, yes it is just it is a it's a it's a it's a it's another step in the flesh and blood story heroes come in and heroes go out and it's neither good nor bad. Answer and the question. Like, you, you <laughs> it's, it's, very, <laughs> it's very contextual because yes, if you're a, if you're a player that plays a deck, I'm not asking. Music, I'm not asking the world. No, no, no. I'm, I'm asking saying, you. I, I'm explaining the context. Yeah, but you're right? asking a dumbass question, so we're giving you. No, a, it's we're not, not a dumb question answer. either, Trip. It is a dumbass dumb question. question. No, don't try to defend it. Let's be respectful. I've got. I've got friends. I've got. I've got friends. We're friends, but I'm going to. I'm going to go out and say them. I just like these questions. So Trip and I agree that it is just a thing. It depends. Like, what is your opinion, Hamish? What would you like to say? I think that. I think that actually, drawing my the final finals was actually so exciting because of the way Dromai works in the game because it's not the fact that she's creating this board state and Maximilian had to take it, it forces Max to take the turns off to deal with board state do you know what I mean there was like an ebb and flow because when you watched all the other games where it's like I punch you you punch me I punch you you punch me it becomes a, there's like a point if that makes sense but the fact that Dromai worked in such a way that was like this real intricate dance was actually the bit that made the whole thing tense because that hero naturally can put the brakes on every hero in the game to mm. go deal with this for a little bit. Okay, cool. Got to deal with this for a little bit. It's like little traps and that's gone now. So I don't know if we'll, for this time being, ever get something so wow or exciting you know because if you think about all the other pro tour games it was kind of never it was never that like oh god you know what i mean there but was... you say i mean obviously we don't know what's coming but you say this just as we're about to get another illusionist in a new set yeah right? yeah yeah that's true but to give not, credit not to not Hamish, dragons. The, dragons. the dragons are different right the, the they are they're, they're, they're allies right the the board state the, the, they're kind of like the 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 hearthstone style create a creature mm. creature does a thing have to no, do with the creature kind I, of thing i get i get like, that but uh, you're, you're forgetting I, what prism was like with auras everywhere and a luminaris that went Burr. I'm not forgetting what Prism was. No, Prism. Prism. You come at me with that. Yeah, no, I forgot. Yeah. Prism was Scott, the that's, worst. That's burned into my soul until the end of yeah, time. Yeah, Prism's so, uh, the worst. It was the worst of every. It was the worst of it all, wasn't it? it Prism was, was like that, but you can kill one and that's it, right? Yeah, at least yeah. with Drummer, you could kill two. Maybe even three. In fact, if you, uh, you could imagine, you kill four or five. You could, you, yeah. could, you could block one of them. And imagine if one of the auras swang and you blocked with it, and the aura died. Oh my god! So you can and clear there was auras by blocking. That was like you must attack this dragon, and if you do, your turn ends. <laughs> like, like, well, no, was... I know Yenderai is kind of like <laughs> <It's> that. <good. laughs> no, not with uh, not with uh, Shuko. That was the uh, the nice little Shuko. Uh, Any, uh, yeah. Anyway, anyway, so uh, when I was saying, uh, let me, is let me, let me, I let... leaving a good thing or a bad thing? There is. There's, it's not just competitive meta. It's just is is you know when Prism like was leaving or when Starvo was leaving. We're like, is Starvo leaving good? Yes, <laughs> it, it was good. This is not fun to play. It wasn't fun for the player to play. So that was a resounding yes. That is good that he's gone. So I'm just throwing yeah. this question out to you again. I don't think there's another hero that like Starvo though. I, I don't really no, I'm see not, heroes. I'm not saying Dromai is like Starvo. I'm I just saying I how does really this feel? See... He's using it as a comparison. Yeah. Um, I don't really feel I... anything about it. If anything, I'm like yeah. I'm sad for the Dromai players because they like playing Dromai. Mm -hmm. I'm sad for the ninja players because we like playing against Dromai. Yeah, I was just about to say I'm as a ninja neutral player, and I'm sad. I I guess I'm happy because it that's what I love about Fab. I like the fact that it's not just the same heroes. The heroes, if they get too good, they're gone. So I guess I'm happy because it shows that the fab mm. system is working. And I was literally saying today, 
that the living legend system well, i wasn't saying this but i was alluding to the fact that the living legend system essentially enables us to have evergreen cards right we can we don't yeah. have to cycle out sets because we cycle out heroes and i much prefer that i like the fact that the pro tour was won by sink below and sigil of solace these are two cards that if you started playing yeah. flesh and blood at the very beginning beginning you opened you in those first packs of welcome deck. to rave yeah. and you probably might even still use the same ones that you open when you open your first packs that's cool i don't want to i don't want welcome to rave to ever not be a set that's included yeah. in the game we play like well, i hate that kind of idea well it was but interesting with the idea of deck. Coming out. Yeah. But this, this... because there was ravenous rabble from arcane rising yeah. we had some snatch from welcome to wraith like but we won't move was... off the question like hey it's like what were you going to say about so, the whole drum i bad good or bad kind of thing? well no I, i'm just saying like you know how does it feel that it's it was dr is drum i leaving a good thing or a bad thing and i suppose really that you're you're it's bad because you're right there's there's there, there is a very standout hero, standout mechanic, and nothing, mm. nothing can borrow. She can't borrow. No one can borrow any of her stuff. You can't pretend to make a pretend sort of thing anymore. Do you know what I mean? It is dragons, but it but it and opens up. She space, has to. Doesn't it? She has to come back like Prism. She has to come back. It can't be a new sort of thing anymore. Do you know what I mean? But the good thing no, it, it about could, it, could be, it could be a new thing. It could be a new. It right. could be a brand new thing. These these cards they exist forever. Oh, now these dragons they're yeah. always there, and we can yeah dragon and they're popular and they're cool, man. The, the art on those dragons is insane. The, the the things that dragons do is insane, and I, I think we'll see. Uh, I don't know if we'll see another Dramai like we did with Prism. I kind of kind of didn't like that the one. fact that they brought Prism back as Prism. Like I like I just want them to create creating new heroes that do maybe similar things, but new stories. And new don't worry, they didn't well. do that with Chain, and you would have been all right. With Not that. yet, anyway. <laughs> they could have done though, I guess. Like they literally could have printed Vincent as Chain and be like, "This is new Chain," um, yeah. but they didn't. No, so it's kind of interesting. But so here's the good thing about Dre Miley, then, right? She was, and I do think that maybe we were a little bit too hot to say that the Everfest was the last of the 1.0. I think mm -hmm. the I think the uprising was the encore of the 1.0 mindset oh, sort yeah, of thing. Yeah. And the 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 play one card, one red card, entire board activates with zero cost to attack. Was it was the the worst part about Prism was the Luminaris pitcher yellow off we go, that's all I needed to do. And Dromise mm. was, um, here's a little dragon, Sigil of oh, Solace, okay, you know what I mean? It, 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 you don't need any resources and off it goes. So she did just looming doom every, uh, quite a lot of heroes in the player base that it was like, oh, I would love to play this hero. I'm pretty good into this thing. I can't beat mm. Dromai. <laughs> like there's that word. I can't beat Dromai. Just shows really how polarizing of a hero and how yeah. potentially stifling she was to I did, a I, larger. I, I, so, no, to, I'm just. I'm not. I'm just saying for us. I'm thinking about the non Dromai players. Like, why would this be a good thing? that for, just, the, for think, the overall they, thing it's, it's, a, it's, it's like a, it's a whole pie trip it's different it's almost, flavors it's almost, if, it's almost if i don't like the question which is why i'm having so much trouble with yeah. it which is just like here's, what, what here's, here's just the bad it's here's like, the bad thing you're happy question. because the hero that you're no, I am sorry. You, you, you struggle. You struggle about. No, no not you. Not you, me. you, the collective, the collective play, flesh and yeah. blood player. The, That's the, the question man, you're asking. The man in the street, flesh and blood player. The woman in the armory is, is happy because their the hero they can't beat is going out. It's yeah. like, yeah, sure, like that. Yeah, but, <laughs> like so. But my, like, no, there'll no, be a lot you, of players. No, you're, you're looking at it too small. You're looking at it too small. Trip. I'm just saying that she. My bigger, the bigger point of this is that. She really did polarize. She was the last polarizing mm. piece. So is that? So is every? She's not the. Like, po she's not the what, last polarizing piece. Well, that's what heroes do. Who that's else is po good heroes do? They warp the meta around yeah. them, and you know, but, and then then. But when Drum Eye was doing really well, there was heroes that could beat Drum Eye, and people started picking up the Drum Eye. Uh, honestly, there was. She really I think did. It's just, she, it no, just she lets really the meta have, move around. She really did have an answer to everything. Yeah, so do most heroes. No, they like, don't. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. Who? I don't know. Who else? Hey, hey, has, has Dromai won like... every single tournament of Flesh and Blood? Yeah. In the no, the, the, no. Why? so the, the reason why Dromai 
was you struggled to win with it. It's because she is the perfect toolbox hero. It was she she played on a different axis to everyone, and but the, the biggest Kano. well Kano is like yeah. But Kano is a, Kano is a, a Kano deck. She's definitely playing a different kind of game to everybody but, else. And she, but she's incredibly true. complex, and she is mm. a like one misstep, and it can all fall over incredibly quickly. But are you essentially saying if we had the super, the fab supercomputer, are you saying that you, you, you give this fab supercomputer drum eye and they win every game? Is that kind of what? Or like they have like a 75% win rate or something. Is that kind of what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. I that's think, a that's an that's an inch that's an interesting statement. So I think so. I, like I think because yeah. if it's the that's most... a better framing of the question. Like no, no. I would so, but that, Thanks, Sam. Well, whatever. Yeah, I, we're, but... No, I'm just messing. <laughs> yeah. No, but I, I think for a lot, she really was doing quite a lot of work to kind of make people go. I just nothing. Mm. There's nothing I can do. It's like there's nothing I can do. You've presented mm. every option. Is it's the it's damned if you do in every sense and every hero did it and you watch the pro tour you watch a cast bones being thrown out there i'm gonna slam into you he just goes i'm going to no block this but and i don't care because eventually the fundamental thing of you have to deal with these things on the board no one can ignore and the only person that was able to leverage this to the silliest degree was viscerai at back in his haymaker days because it was like, oh, I'll deal with the board and damage you, which is the worst thing yeah. Dromai could ever deal with. Katsu but is pretty good as well. No, no, Katsu is good because there's the string, but Viserai did go, everything is still hitting you. And that was. Well, like... Katsu's hero ability is you made a dragon, I can take a card out of my deck <laughs> and, and shoot it for but free. But Dromai so... can actually just leverage that they to, 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 any, to fatigue any... you. Any hero in this game can win a matchup against another hero. We see it all the time. No, we saw I it know. in the final. I we, know, saw, but... we saw Max mm. almost take down Dromai. It's an incredibly unfavorable. It, I, I matchup, know, but... I know. But there's. I'm just saying that there is not many P heroes like in the game. Icelander had this thing. Chain had mm. this thing. Dromai does have this thing of going, like, I can be all these people, but that one name that pops up that just scuppers the entire thing is... In this meta, in this I, meta, I, was I don't, think that, I don't think that's bad for the the game. I, I never said it was game. bad that's for the game. game. I'm just saying. But you're implying that but now, or no, not you, Kano but you're saying that there's a well. binary I, question. I also so, put out like, there that I think, she, I think, just, no, there is no I binary think, question. I think she makes the most interesting games. Well, yeah. well, that's the pro tour final is the proof the the, the watching Dromai do her stuff and watching yeah. someone do very well with Dromai is just like. This is so much fun because you are literally like it's 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 like a game of Netrunner where one guy's trying to oh what is, what's the I forgot the name of the, the 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 terminology of it um where one guy's just playing a different game to the other it's not two guys trying to play the same game one guy's the board master and the other one has to navigate the maze and that's what Dromai always did she goes here's the maze solve the maze and if i can't make this maze good enough i will win like i'll lose sorry but if i make it so good you can't win and that was the two different axes of the game playing off and that's what made the game really fun to watch rather than you know and it's a different sort of game the uh, two dories hit each other with axes it's a different game but they're both playing the same game and two brutes hit each other it's or or do you know what I mean? Even just everyone else. Like I think the last one on left is potentially Dash. You know, Dash did that sort of thing, but she wasn't even building a maze, she was building an engine. You know, and that's what I think Dromai leaving is gonna be sad because of that. So you're not even gonna answer your own question. No, you're I think use your your hidden third option that you're keeping in your pocket I think, the whole time. I, I think so. Sad is fine. Sad, like, it I can think be Blair sad, Marine it can is be sad. happy, it can I, be I good, it can be bad. bad. It's I, no, sad, Simon, what were you gonna say? Good, it's good. I don't think we can comment until we've seen what the new illusionist does. Like, yes, it's probably not going to be dragon. <laughs> Maybe we're sitting there going classic. We already know what the new illusionist does, Simon. What are you talking about? You pay three chi. 
And then and you, you get a spectral shield. You get a spectral shield, and your first spectral shield. And then you take a new Luminaris. Plus one. So and it's you fine. Go, we know bang, how bang, it works. Bang, bang. So, yeah. um, Which sounds, and they'll glisten yeah. will be coming out of the woodwork. Uh, the, um, yeah, the, 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 this Pro Quest season's going to be quite interesting. Be, yeah. Because, because be Dromai's going, there is going Maybe. to be. No, she is. Shut, someone shut up. She is. Don't wind me up. It's not even worth it. It's got to win one game, so. <sighs> oh, God. How is it only like this Briar. episode? Oh, no, you're winding me up. Because it's every other it's episode. Not, no, how it how is. How long did Briar take to get two living legend points? Are you joking? Jeremiah sure is gone. She's gone. Are you she's, joking, she's, Simon? He's going to go. Unless the Dromai players band together and were like, yeah, nobody yeah, yeah. play. Like they did. They the all love playing so much. You're, you're not even. They'll just come second in it's every not, event. It's not even the same league. It's not even <laughs> even close to the same thing. There's so many pro quests now as well yeah, compared to back when we used to play. Bri Briar, so. Briar couldn't live in Legend because she was like on like <laughs> nine hundred. <laughs> yeah, she was on like nine hundred and forty <laughs> points, and everything was only two points. So if she won like the sixteen events yeah. or whatever, it was like yeah. So what? And she eventually, just couldn't win. No, she, <laughs> she limped. <couldn't> win. <laughs> she limped over the. She just limped there, and then right at the end, she someone. Charles Dunn goes, oh, there's actually a new way of playing her and it's actually quite good. Oh my God! Like and two Alex, nationals. Alex, <laughs> Alex Chitty tried his best to get Briar Living Legend points. I think he gave her most of them by the end. Yeah. Playing yeah. it out. But yeah. yeah um, but, like, now, but now we're in a spot. She is going to yeah. go. Week one, she is going to go. She's gone. Is, like, is it good, bad, sad, happy? What does that mean? It's, happen it's happening. So, so what does that mean to the meta? Move on. Fun. Move on. Is it? Is what's that going to mean to the matter? What rises up from Dromai leaving? Well, a lot of heroes hate it, as you were alluding to, Hamish. So a lot of people, a lot of players, a lot of heroes are going to get a, a kind of, of increased win, sort of win percentage into the field. Ninja flipping loves it, so mm -hmm. loves Dromai playing against Dromai. So then maybe that's a little bit of a hit to Ninja. We have seen Katsu not getting to top eights, but creeping yeah. around and doing numbers and showing creeping what Katsu around. can do. Yeah. I think this Dory deck is pretty good. And it I think pretty, it's pretty it's pricey, interesting yeah. to think how, what's the meta going to be like. But the trouble with these Dory decks, this, this Dory deck, you, people used to run it like Bolton like that, the old kind of control and guardian heroes, mm -hmm. is if you get a good illusionist, you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. And even, like they got game into Drumai. We saw what Maximilian could, was doing into Drumai. We saw a, a game that he could win. He nearly did win it. And we can see how it can be done. But I don't know about Spectral Shields and I don't know about the kind of like what what tools that the new illusionist is going to get. Because if you, if you yeah. take too hard into these fatiguing, controlling these blocking strategies and your opponent just says, now nah, I'm just going to make a bunch of things and then I'm going to overpower you with just constant, like infinite value. Quick question for you. Just stepping back from the competitive meta viewpoint a little bit. Right. What... What do you think about the new KOCC deck coming into existence just as we've seen KO being the most popular hero in the Pro Tour? Good. Like, do I you think good. that's going to bring a lot of new people into the game at the correct level, Dan Tripp? No, unless LSS also combines that with like new player opportunities and new player experiences. I mean, for one, there's got to be a second deck. Like, if I'm a new player, I, I want to play against someone also playing a deck of that level. Deck. I want to mm -hmm. buy a couple and play with my friends. So there needs to be a second one. I'm sure there will be. I'm sure this is just the first one they've revealed. But I would suggest that they also print another one. Uh, that would be good that you can play against. Because one, I don't think, I don't think the idea of them, oh, it's a deck you can buy if you're going to go to an armory. That's a good idea, but there needs to be more than that uh yeah the the ball in my opinion is a little dropped because the uh the steady release of a cc deck is um mm. no, not what i thought i'd rather they turn around and went tell you what we'll do uh we'll wait <laughs> until the end of the year mm. when we've got them all printed ready to go and then um we can just give like three out right maybe three you don't need yeah. to do six just do Three, maybe four. I don't know. Sod it. Just do four and make them a batch. Because I'm telling you now, if everyone's like, "Oh, I really like Flesh and Blood," I, tried that I want to get a CC. What with the Welcome to Wraith heroes? With the... 
you not remember the starter decks, the 60 card CC decks they did for Katsudori, Bravo? And... What when the game started? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not saying time. I'm not saying it was you couldn't buy them in the UK because people were speculating yeah, well, on them. So much, I'm, yeah. I'm surprised that they didn't continue to make starter decks for certain heroes as we've gone. Like, I'm surprised that didn't become a thing. Well, I so if you say KO though, that was a very good choice. Because yeah. KO is, I think so. Yeah, KO is because he's competitive right out of the box. It's, yeah, and that, but he's also not really hard to get, right? He's yeah, yeah he's, like you were saying, he's, right? he's fi. I wouldn't be surprised if they turn around and went his fi. Yeah, in a CC day, you're like, this will get I you. I think go. fi might be a little bit close to living legend to like. No, no, yeah, maybe that's why they didn't do it. This right. is the other thing. But is it, I really like KO. That KO is great. I think it'd be it, they do need to be careful that like some of these heroes are creeping up and like if yeah. they like you said like Fi would be a great example but yeah you don't want to but you don't want to print a bunch of product and then the hearing L, hero LLs and then you can't play yeah. the damn heroes. So, I, I think it's deliberate. I don't know what the answer to that is. But... I, I think that there is that there is an actual deliberacy to K to the likes of Ko, and I think Fi was that sort of start of this of going we kind of need a. Uh, a hero that just is good good value good value it's yeah. good value it'll get it'll get is it going to be what the best players will this pro tour didn't obviously doesn't make my statement correct but is this something the best players would want to take and uh is that going to be pushing the limits of skill expression or is it just going to be good good numbers and that's mm. what fire is and i think ko is deliberately also that because if Fi does move on we kind of do need to get a hero that is just like it's just easier to get and not not broken not garbage mm. just mid-level mm. good good and fine and will you win games with it yes and will it make you feel like you're you you got you're doing well, yeah, sure. But it's not Kano or this new Enigma where mm. it's like, holy crap, you know, or even Dromo. Dromo is like the, a good example of this is not easy to play. And if you're very skilled, you will outbeat pretty much a lot of people if you're very, very, very skilled with this. Fi is, there's a ceiling, bro. <laughs> I think I think that's an interesting point, Hamish. I feel like there needs to be one deck like that. But I I think also it's I, like I think KO you is don't that, want right? you want to eat just because you're a new player to Fab doesn't mean you're like no it doesn't no, mean no. that you're like and, and and I'm not saying that that's what you're saying because you're you're correct. There needs to be a Fi deck, right? There needs to be a KO deck. There needs to be a deck that someone who's new can just pick up and play and blah 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 blah. But there also needs it's it's a design challenge for LSS. They need mm. to have a hero that is easy to pick up and play but but is also has depth that that, that you can take further and then you can then just you can uncover it. and and that's hard like that that's a sign of a great game if there are heroes like that that is a sign of a great game there's a hero where you can be like okay there's this level and then mm. i can take it in a completely uh different direction i mean i i hate to say it, but kind of like the, the direction that people are taking like dorinthia in at the moment kind of speaks to that where there's different ways of playing mm. dorinthia and obviously that's difficult to package into a product, but I, I like the idea that you can say to someone, okay, it, you, you've got experience, you've played Magic, you've played a lot of TCGs, This maybe this is the deck that you want to try. Mm. It's still pick up and play if you never played Flesh and Blood before, but there's these levels to it. And I, I wonder if we'll see that with the new heroes from uh, the Mysterious set, like because, well, I hope we'll see that. We don't know. We don't know what those heroes really do. We we can see the hero card, but we don't know what mm. she is. We don't know what these means. But I would like to hope that a, a hero like uh, Zen, for example, the ninja hero, like ninja, you know, very like it's simple. This can be simplistic, but you can then take it in a way. You can build combos. You can build to a combo in quite a interesting way. And I think maybe taking the deck shuffling out of tutoring yeah. is a way of doing that. I actually. Don't know if it the deck shuffles or not, but I can't see the card right now. But uh, maybe I would like that point, to happen. So. Maybe my point was is that there is just complexities to it, right? And yeah, yeah, and maybe and Ko is not a complex deck to play, is it? Neither is Fi is not a complex hero to play. I'd even put Bolton in there, and maybe but Bolton has just got some extra words that probably makes you go, "What does charge mean?" And 
this specific type of block means this. And that is pretty mm. much, like, mm. it's simple, but it's wordy to do it. Whereas KO's is, bro, all your stuff are sixes, discard, card, this, you know, ma- makes a token. And maybe there I is. I really like it. Yeah, maybe. Sorry, maybe, sorry maybe maybe the, the like the Bolton was that in Monarch. The Fi mm. was that in Uprising. The Ko is that in this, and maybe Zen. Maybe even maybe just being maybe it'll be nice. I like I'll tell assassin. You what. Yeah, I, assassin. Yeah, like assassin being, being easy. Being a new player, yeah. yeah, and assassins are cool. And like you got to think about like coolness factor as well. Like if you're getting into a game, I, you're like, damn, that hero is cool. I'm like, I could play that. Oh, that sounds interesting to Regarding me. Regarding the yeah. trailer for Misfail. Mm. Good. Right. Oh, I real cool. Right, the great trailer. I thought it was quite a risk on LSS's part to go with such a seductive hero <clears throat> as the. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, Simon, he, he, Simon, but we knew we a... knew that you, we, they knew that you'd buy in because well, I know you, Simon. No, well, I, I, I have to agree, Simon risk. Zen. I mean, he's pretty hot. What can yeah. I say? Like, I understand what you're saying. Like, uh, the people, the people want to see it. Uh, how, I, how much that's been influenced by the release in Japan, I do not know. But I, I think it was quite. A, a sorry, big Trip. Step you know when you said their normal range. You said I thought you said my right, drone he eyes. Uh, he's talking about me. <laughs> oh. Is she? Uh, well, I, I I thought my is Droma leaving a good thing it was a stupid question, <laughs> and then Simon just went and said something. I think it's even is the new version sh- of Flesh and Blood too hot? Yeah, uh, discuss. <laughs> are you That's so- not what I said. Uh, uh, she's a bit. She's, she's stripping off a bit. Is that? I don't know, it's probably a bit bad because it's no, coming out I in Japan. <laughs> I'm not. I'm only joking, and I uh, think I think it's fine. Like she's 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 a. Uh, uh, I don't personally think. The I, I I prefer Enigma in terms of like aesthetic. Aesthetic. So uh, well, I mean, I prefer Zen. Zen's Zen's way cooler. Uh, not sure about the high chess plate bit, but I think he looks cool. But you know, like you got to print card. We talk about this a little bit. The waifu tax, right? The whole kind of like <laughs> Zen. You want to appeal to certain demographics and certain markets, and like that's uh, how to sell a game. And uh, in the and, and I, I think Japan. that's fine. Yeah, yeah. But that, that... No, I don't. I genuinely don't think we could be like, oh yeah, in Japan. Like, come on. Yeah. You, you've seen Twitter. Those are not Japanese tweets. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I, can Japanese tell you that tweets. I can tell you now, it's not even just, <laughs> it's not even country. It's, I, I, don't think, <laughs> like, I don't think it's country. It's not I think country. It's, it's a, I think it's a it's male a brain. I don't think it's a, like, it is a, it's definitely <laughs> m- like ma- male, but what, like, what do you, I think like people, do, people need to, people need to drink some Kool-Aid or like, or, or need to like yeah. get, get a cool glass of water. Cause calm, calm down, you know, like, uh yeah, like it's get it's getting a little bit like just just take, wow, there have been take some a, ridiculous things back, and memes yeah. sent in the last few days and have, uh have like, you like had... i love i love i love a meme but let's uh let's cool it down know, a bit yeah. cool your cool, jets cool it down um, have a cold shower you know what I'm i saying? am like, i am a hun- i tell you what i'm actually hopeful for just i hope because so far the only thing that ninja has managed to come out with and this is for me and this is not going to offend mm. you guys but it might but knowing you guys, it not going to offend you guys, but it might. <laughs> but, but, it might. but knowing you guys, you'll find some offense from the bin, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah, you'll go. Pick hmm. it up. Ninja famously offended. Kat, Katsu was. I thought Katsu was boring when I first saw it, and then when Fi came out, I thought I can't believe they managed to make something I thought was boring interesting, because Fi mm. is fundamentally uninteresting it, it is yeah. it is the dullest way of i've ever seen it's it's borderline in my opinion lazy it i it had nothing <laughs> i hated it zero it, mm. it represented nothing in my opinion now, this isn't this isn't offensive at all and no, i keep going keep right going. Keep going. i really hope they actually just decide to kind of dial the fun a bit more let's just make ninja a little bit more complex in a way i don't know just something mm, something mm, a little bit a little more, bit more mm. mystical yeah yeah I, mean, I don't you know what i mean it's mm. not just string long attack uh, yeah cool bro nice cat was hey, good hey, because the combo hey, was hey, the hey, linking hey, piece hey. do i go do i come into your house and do i look at the things you love and do i say nah, that, that could be better change it <laughs> Just swap it for something that I like. 
Like, I'm just going to go into your home and I'm just going to find all the things that I don't like and you do. And I'm just going to get rid of them well, and replace them well, with things you that took, I like. You took your question. Maybe, you maybe we can have question. something that we enjoy. Which and is. You can have something that you enjoy. No, I. And we don't have to change things. No, no, no. I, I think it should. I think they should. You enjoy. I think they should. It's a crazy idea. I think. Crazy idea. I think they it's, should have some long combat chains because that's the fundamental ways of ninja, right? But I like to. I like it when it's just more than. I like the thing I like about Katsu mm. is that it matters what you play. I yeah. I will agree. It should definitely be more Katsu, and it's already. I mean, it's literally Katsu's hero ability. Except rather than get rid of a zero, get rid of a blue or get rid of a chi, whatever, whatever the hell chi is, right? Um, and just have a crouching tiger on me, right? Yeah. Uh, which is all immediately way better than fight. It looks cool. Yeah. I just, yeah. But do, do you know what I mean, though? Do you know what I mean? It's class identity. And that is a deck that people like to play. And yeah, you have no, decks that you fine. like to play. But... And you can not like the way that deck plays. No, fine, no, 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 no. But... I, I don't know what the deck is. I just want there mm. to be uh, the thing I really like about katsu is that the first card matters the second that yeah. i have to make it has which to, isn't which isn't the link. case for this is it well i don't mm. know i mean this just seems like a tiger line thing which is like okay cool we're, yeah. we're on the right start already that you actually have to lace in the last card mattered and the next card is you know what i mean that's the it's the sequencing fighting really i know you could sequence but it's like bare minimum sequencing it's just numbers and that's why and that's why I also your don't... brand before your kadachi and I that's why, why I, yeah, well, that's why i don't that was very like... tricky it was very difficult to remember to do that yeah so. but I, that's Look, why i also I, don't I like understand what either. you're saying I'm, I... only, I'm, I'm only messing with you but like yeah that... you, you want you want interesting heroes that are fun to watch and fun to play yeah. and fun to play against and that's perfectly understandable and that's cause... why i don't like K i think ko is also kind of i was like ooh, and i was like no this is bland this is Fi for brute, like bland. Mm. It's not Levia where, you know, you've got some stuff you need to manage. And Reinar's, you know, yeah, there's, it's like a intricacy a little bit to that. It's got to be a bit of luck and whatever, whatever. But yeah, Fi was, Ko is the Fi of brute. And I'm hoping Zen mm. is like the Levia of Ninja. Oh, Hope not. No, hope it's, no. Hope it's something completely different. Using your like, they will be. Zone, they they will be. They'll be. They'll cool be complexities that have high Look, ceilings. We're already we're already running a little bit late on this one. We've been chatting a lot. Uh, we haven't. There's a lot to talk about. Areas, but That's there's a lot. Discussion. There's been a lot to discuss, and there's been some good chat. And and we won't get into the new heroes too much because there's just so much we don't yeah. know. No, about we Chi, have no idea about cards in the set. Like it's so hard. What the, what the weapon like? The weapons are so important these yeah. days in flesh, but especially illusionists. Especially it's a whole talent. So let's let's sit a little bit and hope everybody at home is 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 happy to sit for a little bit. And when we get the details, you know, we're going to talk about them, push the point, and we're gonna gonna debate what we think is the uh, premier way of uh, playing these new heroes. And I'm sure we'll have some spicy deck techs on push the point as well, won't we, Hamish? We, so, I'll 100. Um, I've already had your goss thrown up to me saying he's interested to pick up new. So let's see if we mm -hmm. can get. Daniel Kurias to do one and uh, yeah, one more slot. Well, I want to personally. I want to see Simon Deming on the uh, the ninja because uh, Simon's always my ninja go to. So uh, maybe get Simon to do Zen. Right? Simon, Simon needs to play Fab, right? Yeah. We'll end Ooh. it here. We'll end it here. Thank you so much, everyone. If you've made it to the end. Well Good done. job. Thank well you. Well done. Us. Congratulations. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Long one. So much happened this weekend. Right. <laughs> I, I just enjoyed talking about Simon. Your 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 in laws happy, yes. are waiting to get to bed. Right. They are. Let, let Simon say his piece. We've talked. Me and you have talked a lot this episode, Hamish. Let Isn't Simon. That every, that's, 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 every, Simon that's every episode. Sinus, sinus, sinus off. Sinus. Si sinus. Go on, sinus. <laughs> I hope everyone enjoyed the pro tour. Happy Easter if you celebrate. And I love you all. Every single one of you. Aww. Love you. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. <laughs>